born to the son of a mother from South Africa and a father of Indian ancestry. He sang in school and church choirs as a child. Whether you agree with everything he says or polarize from the beginning of his career, he said his world was always creating music and expressing himself honestly within his lyrics. Conspiracy theories are subjective, in my opinion. They are only dangerous when they become galvanized into reality from the media and the public. Xavier Nadu, considered Germany's first top authentic soul singer singing in the German language he was able to convey what Marvin Gaye was singing about minus the secular trappings pertaining to sex with ravishing women salivating to get close to him from the start his music was more it was bathed in spiritual intuition and ambient aura with love and religion as a message without being neurotic. The focus was still love for one another like Prince's message minus the ostentatious presentation. His muse might be considered to be the Bible, his love for Jesus, his connection to the spiritual world is infectious in his music and texts or lyrics if you may he is a founding member of the popular German band Zona Mannheim well known for his Christian lyrics and his love for hip hop is unwavering he was a part of the late 90s movement encouraging German artists to return to the German language and pop performing in various formations he is an enduring presence in the German charts with his smooth R&B productions and German lyrics of course Xavier Nadu achieved international acclaim not only with his solo music but also with the band that gave him his break in the music industry the Zona Mannheims Sons of Mannheim in English after a clutch of prestigious music prizes and numerous hit singles and several studio albums four of which hit the top spot in the German album charts he is one of the most prolific and respected artists in the German music scene in his own words when asked what was the secret of his success he replied I think it was primarily the German language that made it unique it was not only giving Germany soul music, it was giving the Germans a piece of soul back. After the Second World War, it just didn't feel right to sing in German or to have lyrics with a proper meaning sung in Germany. People felt awkward when they traveled abroad, not wanting to say they were German. So how on earth would you expect to find decent German music? He went on to say, there was a lot of English and American music around, but I wanted to give Germans lyrics they could understand so they can learn to handle pop music. The great thing about pop is to be able to read between the lines and identify with the song. We were missing out on that. I grew up speaking English and German, he said, so I had the privilege of being able to read between the lines. He said he loved Prince and Massive Attack and sold the soul at that time and all the drum and bass stuff he said he felt at home in that scene he said he wanted to give people that joy of understanding and identifying with what he was singing so him and his group decided to start doing it themselves when asked about the German fan base he went on to explain what I've come to realize over the last few decades is that once you are in the German fans' hearts, 
they will never ever let you out again. He expounded, there are about 100 million German speaking people in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. So the market is immense. If you can reach out to them with a love song or whatever, then that is great. When asked about what was wrong with the local music scene in Germany, he went on to say, we never grew up with an entertainment sector. In the last years, or 30 years, it seemed like this whole business was somehow cut off from Germany, or at least we didn't take it seriously. It's not like we grew up with pop music like the British or the Americans. Only now, he said, are more and more German bands appearing on the scene, and more of them sing German. He said he was eager to see where it would lead to. When he was asked about the German programming for radio, he said, here in Germany, our stations are split into different categories. And if you don't fit, you're either made to fit or you don't get any airplay. Other countries, he goes on to say, have American series with subtitles so they learn to play with different languages far quicker. We are kind of in a bubble where we used to duck and hide, feeling ashamed of our German identity. He goes on to say, it's such a paradox. We don't even have our own folk music. All we have is Schlager, which is a parody of German folk music with no substance, just rubbish. We used to have beautiful folk songs with wonderful arrangements and brilliant lyrics. They're all gone or lost through ignorance and people's fear of their own identity. On his perspective on the internet concerning downloading music, he went on to say, I think we have to start living with the internet. The question is, where will it lead? Either we won't be able to download anything for free, or we will be able to download everything for free, or there will be a completely different solution. He goes on to say, the main problem is that some people have closed their eyes for far too long, especially within the music industry. At the end of the day, I need to have my music online. If out of the 5 million people that click on my website, 500,000 buy the single, that's great. Xavier goes on to say, there is so much music out there now and nobody has enough money to buy everything. But lots of people show up at the concerts at least. So no harm done. When he was asked about how to improve the German local music scene, he responded, what we really need are places where young bands can play and organize gigs. What's the use in renting a rehearsal room and practicing your butt off if you can't play anywhere. He went on to say, in Mannheim, we already have a pop academy where you can study popular culture and music. He says, the music industry seems to finally be recognizing the need, but more investment in popular music and culture is definitely required. He went on to say, we also need music TV shows again. All we have are those silly casting shows, but no decent live venues for small bands. That just kills any development in the German music scene. But then again, I like to watch these casting shows because they are the only way to find out who has talent in Germany. With that being said, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. You've been watching Soul Dilemma with Xavier and I do. And remember, my name is Gary Harrison. Stay humble and stay hungry. And I'll catch you on the next one.